How can you get demonetized on YouTube? Now, if you don't know what demonetized on YouTube means, it means when you cannot make money from your channel. It means when you cannot put ads on your channel. Now, I know people that have gotten demonetized for the most basic things ever, all right? Just for example, this one channel, you know, they play around with puppets. I don't want to mention the name, but you guys can... You guys can assume who they are. You know, they play around with puppets. And, you know, they got demonetized for misusing family-friendly characters. You know, they used characters and, you know, they did action with them. And, you know, made them talk. You know how you play, how little kids play around with puppets, plush toys? You know, they did action with them. And, yes, they got demonetized. And... Uh, Use them, they use the puppets to say th certain basic things that puppets do, that puppets are made to do, and they of course got their channel demonetized, meaning they cannot make money from doing YouTube. Uh, they cannot put ads on their channel, you know, they cannot make money from doing YouTube, and that actually kind of sucks because if you think about it in a way, if you think about it in a way, you are not only doing YouTube, if you are not only doing YouTube for a job, then that means that you will probably fall into big trouble because what happens if your channel what happens if your channel gets demonetized you will have no other source of income and you will go broke you know uh if your channel gets demonetized and the so sad part about it is that i know other youtubers that have done s so much more worse than playing with puppets you know and they have not gotten demonetized from youtube you know like other big YouTubers, you know? But playing around with puppets will get you demonetized, guys. So, of course, you know, you need to follow YouTube guidelines and do what YouTube says. And if you want to keep on making videos, then you have to follow YouTube guidelines. You know, like, the guidelines, some of the guidelines are not cursing, not copywriting, not taking someone else's content, not insulting, not making any inappropriate content for others, you know, not making inappropriate content for kids, and, it, and the list goes on and on and on, you know, like that, and all they were just doing was playing with puppets, you know, all they were doing was making them talk and making them play around, and you know, guys, another, if another kid is watching, if, in, if a kid is watching something inappropriate on YouTube, then that means it's the parents' fault, not the kids' fault. It's not, no, it's not the creator's fault for creating that content, all right? It's the parents' fault for letting the kid go on that website and watching the video if the kid's watching anything inappropriate or anything adult content related, you know? You guys understand, it's not, it's not the kid's fault. It's not, it's not the kid's fault. It's not the uh, person who made the video's fault. The person who creates the content. It's not his fault. It's the parent's fault for letting the kid g go on a certain website and, you know, do stuff on it. It's the parent's fault. The parents, the parents should take responsibility to make sure, to s make sure that their kid is not watching anything bad on the internet or anything adult content related or doing anything bad on the internet. It's not the creator's fault, you know? But yeah, guys, that's all I wanted to talk, talk about today. Subscribe for a cookie. Subscribe for a cookie, and I'll see you in the next video.